17th I think I got to change my uh, I was I think I got to go up in here and change my uh, audio on here let me see I don't know why I didn't do it uh, on this roadcaster with the mic I have to wait and do it uh, channel Let me see audio processing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up in here and mess around with my settings again. Cause I just did an update on my roadcaster. And I don't like how it's sounding. Alright. What up though? What's good? Today's show. Um, if you didn't catch it, uh yesterday I actually did the uh, uh did a dedicated video for the Zidus. Um, and I kind of gave you my take on it. And it was the reason I left one part out of it. I left the processor out of it. Um, Cause it's basically a minor upgrade to the processor, um, which is running the real tech 1619. And I think uh, that's for the older model. And then I think the newer model is running the, the real tech 1619. BP or something like that. Uh, so it's really not, you know, too much of it. So I definitely want to get into that. Also, I found my adapter that goes to that big old UK plug. This is it right here to make it, you know, for American. Um, but let me do this because I definitely uh, want to give you my take on the Z10 Pro and the Z20 Pro and whether you should upgrade or not. You know, um, I'll give you my take on it. But first, we'll look at the, the specs and everything. And then you just make that determination. Um, I don't have the Z9X um, Pro. Uh, so I'm not, I can't do that one. Uh, I think it's called Z9X Pro. I can't remember. Uh, but I do got these two devices on here, you know, uh, and it's and it's just so, 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 so amazing because uh, we have plenty of plenty of options. Um, found out Netflix is not working as good as I want it. And, you know, they really don't, at least on this model here, uh, Zidu has never really supported like any type of streaming services, you know, and I understand why, because you're supposed to like build your own, you know, that's what the box is for. Um, but we will get into it. All right. We will get into it. Uh, what I need to do. What do I need to do? You know what? Maybe I should do this. All right? Because I got both of them right here. Plugged in. But I'm not getting a, a picture on one. Let me see. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. Let's see if we get a picture now. All right, might have this one. And again, I know it's on. Let me check my HDMI cord because I got to pulling on some things. And mm. 
Let me just do this right quick. There we go. There we go. See how it... And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the home. All right, hold up just a second, y'all. Let me do this right quick. Uh, just make sure I, I don't have anything on my older device. Plex HDMI in. Just trying to make sure I ain't got nothing on here. All right, just making sure because the haters love to watch. All right, let me get this screen up here. Salute to everyone. This Billy, big salute, big salute. Say, yo, Dale, I dropped something in that PayPal. All right, let me go on over here to this, to the pal. Let me see. Man, I went upstairs for a quick second and almost nodded off. Man, brother be tired sometimes. Brother be tired. All right, I got you, Miss Billy. I got you. I definitely got you. What up, guys? Just give me just a second. Give me a second. Ah, man. Just give me a second, guys. Let me, uh, I'm sending a couple text messages. Just a couple. No, I had a bunch of messages right here. All right, Miss Billy, I got you. Big salute. I will respond to you shortly. All right, and thank you, Miss Billy. Big salute. Big salute. Thank you. Thank you for the, don the donation as well. And again, for anybody that want to donate, um, you definitely uh, can do what Miss Billy done and others. Also, guys, uh, you can do uh, send it to the PayPal, either one. All right. Um, let me give a big salute to uh, my four my four uh, people who actually got in touch with me over the weekend, and we actually um, got you going with how you can get your content. You know, build your your media library. For Plex, for your Zadu, big salute to y'all. Big, big salute. Um, very successful. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, let me share my screen right quick. You know, not not share my screen. Let me, just, let me go ahead and turn on my extra camera. Easy. Got you. Got you. But what up, though? So... Again, guys, I have both of these devices, and hello to everyone. I'll get to all the hellos shortly, but um, I've been playing around with the Z20 for a while now, you know, uh, probably a few days. I'm getting it up and going, um, you know, just transferring data, doing all sorts of things like that. So um, definitely been doing that. Um, the key is, you know, should you upgrade? There are some things that's, 
you know, that goes on behind the scene uh, when we really dig into these devices. And um, with me, I'm just here to give an honest truth um, uh, on these devices because the emails come in, you know, uh, I think I received like two of them over the weekend asking me which one do I like. Even in my consultation, I got, you know, I got asked, you know, which one do you like, Dale? Should I should I get a Z10 20 or, uh, I mean, a Z10 Pro or should I get a Z20 Pro, you know? And to me, you know, it, you know, I, I say, well, it really comes down to you, you know, uh, what you like, what you want. And uh, there are some things that, you know, uh, I really don't think it is a major improvement, you know, in my opinion, I'm evaluating this box. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything like that. Um, if you can get the Z10 Pro, go for it. You know, um, that's just me. Um, it's, it's two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. Uh, but let's do this. Let me do this. Let's share my screen right quick. That way we can I can show you exactly what I have. Uh, share screen. And don't forget to smack that thumbs as you're entering the building. All right. But let me do this first because I do want to get. Uh, I guess I can do this, right? All right, again, if you want this device, the Z20 Pro, you can go, as of today, you can go to Fateco and get it right here. The thing about this, um, it is in the UK. At least that's what they tell us. It is in the UK. Um, it could be somewhere in the United States. Um, they probably got their devices because, again, I just see it's kind of, to me, um, and I don't order from, you know, Taiwan, China. Uh, you know, I don't order. Back in the day, I have ordered things from the UK. Lisa said it was coming from the UK. And for it to get here within three days is amazing. It is amazing. And so that's why I say I think it's a warehouse here that's getting ready to load up on these devices and put them on Amazon. Because we got them, to me, it just get here too quick. Um, and, you know, uh, but anyway, this is the device that I got, right? This is it. Uh, it seems like they went up a couple dollars. <laughs> it, it, hey, for anyone that's been paying attention, uh, you know, uh, it seemed like this went up. It wasn't, wasn't it like 360 or something like that? It looked like they went up on the U.S. dollars. You know, so, again, you know, um, the thing about this device is it, it might be a tad bit faster, um, you know, as far as getting the content, you know, on here. Uh, it it could have went up a little bit. Uh, and, and it could be a little bit faster. The thing about it, though, uh, you know, if you can get it to me, I'm just being honest. If you can get a deal, uh, you know, for the Z10 Pro, I think you'll be all right. Um, that's just my take. Um, but anyway, let's go through it. All right. I'm not going to hold you up. Let's look at the Z10 Pro. As you know, the Z10 Pro is in a, a gray um, type silverish case, as you see right here. Um, it give you one SATA, and I actually, um, where is it at? Where is it at? I had my SATA. Where you at? What? Is, oh, here it is, right here. For people who may not know, for people who may not know, inside the Z10 Pro. Uh, you get this, you know, in the Z9X, um, the, the Z9S, and in the Z1000, you actually get 
one of these cables, right? So you can connect it. You can connect it to your, uh, if you have a SSD, right? If you have one of these, you can just go ahead and connect this bad boy without no external or anything. You can just connect it, right? And you can plug it directly into your drive. I mean, and you can connect it directly. Hold up. You can connect it just like this directly to your device. So for people with SSDs, um, they got a dedicated cable on the Z10 Pro. Now, on the Z1000, no, on the Z20 Pro, all right? On the Z20 Pro, um, you see that they removed that. But we'll go from there. Uh, let me bring this back up. So you get one SATA, all right? One RS-232, as you see right here, all right? I don't know anybody that used this right here, um, but to each his own. You get two um, USB 3.0s. Um, dual band, MIMO, Wi-Fi, all right? That's cool. Gigabyte LAN, um, HDMI output, and then you got an HDMI input, all right? The input is so that you can connect any hdmi source to this device now you may have to use a hdmi splitter to get past the uh uh hdcp uh which is you know uh a code that block you know uh you from recording off of that device um but then you got optical rca then you got the power and then you got the on and off uh one thing about it now both of these come with IR remotes, all right? Both of them. But it's mighty strange that you're paying more for the Z20, and it is a slicker remote, but it's not backlit, all right? This one is not backlit, and I can show you it right now. The one that come with the Z20 Pro is not backlit, all right? This is not backlit. It's just all black. And if you're in the dark, that is it. Well, with the Z10 Pro, they give you an IR, but it is backlit. A little bit bigger, a little bit solid, you know, And but at the end of the day, it is backlit. And one thing about it, when you have, like, an IPTV service and you want to, like, you know, save your favorites, you see them little color buttons back there? That comes handy on certain IPTV apps. And with the new device, and again, I could have explained all of this in that video that I did last night, yesterday evening. That Well, I did it yesterday evening, but I released it sometime this morning, like 10, 30, 11. This one does not give you those options. Them little buttons up there just doesn't stick, at least when I tried to use them, all right? When I tried to use them, it just wasn't stick. And you see, if you look at both of them, you know, and again, both of the remote controls will get the job done, right? They will get the job done. But at the end of the day, if you're in the dark, you're going to want not this one, but you're going to want something that has a backlit. And then that's what brings you to something like this. Investing in something like a mini keyboard that lights up. All right? That, I mean, that's just what it is. You know, you want something that you can use in the dark and everything. Um, here is the, the V12. I think this is what, that's what it's called, right? The Zadu V12, right? Now, this is the Bluetooth, but this is sold separate. But now this one is backlit, all right? This one is backlit, and it's pretty stable and everything. It's pretty nice. But again, it is Bluetooth. I'm going to do a dedicated video on that one as well. But I just wanted to show you the difference, you know, um, compared to this backlit. And again, it's IR, uh, you know, 
it's not like your traditional IRs, like these type of. Now I'm gonna tell you this: these are the worst. <laughs> these type of IR remote controls are the worst. You got to point that bad boy right at the device. Well, what does it do? You don't have to point it directly. If your box is over here, you can pretty much point this way and it'll catch it or point in the area. But this IR remote right here, you got to point it directly at the box like and get up on it and then you go ahead and make your transitions on uh, what you're trying to do with that device. All right. Um, again, I'm not trying to tell you not to get the device again. Personal preference is everything. It's on you if you want it. I'm just giving you my take on it. Um, again, comes in the box. All right, so the Z10 Pro, this is the older one. This is not the new one, guys. So when you like, hey, Dale, you know, uh, you know which one you should get, I'm going to tell you right now, um, for everything the Z10 Pro can do, I would probably lean towards that and again i'm i'm gonna tell you why all right z10 pro of course front display led aluminum um case now again this is the cpu the 1619 dr arm cortex a55 pay attention to that all right so when people play hey man what was what's what's the uh uh the cpu well you got a real tech rtd 1619dr and when we go to the z20 pro i'm gonna tell you exactly where you at where you at where you at uh real tech let me just go down here i guess i can go right here it'll tell me right here it's running the rtd 1619 bravo peter david all right so b D. Now, is it a little bit of an upgrade? Absolutely. I mean, on over really, this is just all about the overall experience. Don't get caught up in this. This is not like you're getting a uh uh one of them Android boxes that's running uh what a chipset A. I, I can't even remember them other ones because I ain't use them so much. But an 895, you know, X2 or whatever. No, I think Realtek is a little bit more powerful than those regular chips that come in a basic Android TV box, like a S905 X2. I think um, RTD uh, is a little bit more better, a little bit more stable for what it needs to do. And what this means, it just needs to hold steady, all right, and give you a little bit of a better experience. But the RTD 1619B P D, is it that much of an upgrade on the RTD 1619DR? You know, it's really I can't speak for no other device in Zadu, but you know, but the ones that are in front of me. So to me, I, I to me, it's just a tad bit faster, in my opinion. But again, it's not to knock the new device, all right. But you do have two gigs of RAM, thirty-two gigs of internal storage. Does RAM really make a difference on a on a budget box? You know, uh, does it? Because if that's the case, um. I don't think RAM should, at least in this case, and this and, and hear me out. At least in this case, does RAM really make a difference on this type of box? To me, not really. I mean, some things might go a little bit quicker. You know, some things I don't know. Um, you know, some some programs or uh, certain um, tasks may run a lot better. Like, I did notice using this Zadu Z1020, I did notice, and this could have been because of the Realtek um, 1619 uh, 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 BPD, or 
or something like that, whatever it is. I did know the trailers run a lot snappier, all right? The trailers go, but is that a make or break? Is it a make or break that, you know, is it a make or break, all right? With the Z10 Pro, we all know it. The Z9X, we all know it. It's like a hit and miss. It'll work for four months, and then the next two months it'll be broken, and they got to send a patch or update, and then it'll get back to working for another three months, and then it'll go down. I don't know if it's going to happen on the Z20 Pro unless I just continue to watch it. All right? But it does have Bluetooth 4.2. If you look at the the Zadu Z20, it does have an upgrade of 5.2 on the Bluetooth, as you see. So that is an upgrade on um, some devices that will be carrying um, 5.2. And, you know, I know a lot of them are at Bluetooth 5.0 and 5.1, but it's already at the 5.2 for some of them for better sound, all right, for better sound better connections, more stable connections. So I do know about that. Um, again, uh, 2.4, it does have dual band Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, that is good with the MIMO technology. On the Wi-Fi, it says it can get up to 867 uh, megabytes per second. That's on the Wi-Fi. It could. Now, I don't. Wi-Fi is just so tricky. Uh, with the Z20 Pro, it does have Wi-Fi 6, 2.4, 5G. It really doesn't go into detail on uh, what it can get into. At least I don't see it here. Or maybe I just missed over it and things like that. Um, again, Ethernet um, port for your internet, uh, HDMI 2.0, whereas the Z10, I mean the Z20 Pro, does um, do a little bit of better job. It has the HDMI 2.1. So that, to me, that's an upgrade, you know, um, for the motion, depending on exactly how you have your box set up, it is an upgrade. But is it a deal breaker? That's something you're going to have to determine, you know, uh, you know, with 2.1 and, and HDMI 2.0. Um, 2 um, some of y'all out there don't even have a television. Y'all might be still on HDMI 1.4 or something like that. Uh, you, you have to have the equipment. You have to have the equipment to actually do the 2.1. Some of y'all don't, but I know HDMI 2.1, it helps with the motion. So if you got like, if you're watching a movie, uh, that I saw that's out right now, like Flash and stuff like that. It's supposed to help with sound and motion um, depending on uh, how you have your device set up. All right? Um, 4K at 60, um, HDR 10, 10 Plus, Dolby Vision. Um, so it has all of this. Um, you're going to get the same thing over here. DTS, Dolby Audio. You're going to get you're going to get some of the same uh, things over here. Um, now, one thing that they're banging on is the AV1. But if I can be honest with you, don't nobody use AV1 as of right now for movies, anything like that. Um, you know, that's future proofing. Uh, but for any device that's sitting back saying, man, do it had the AV1? You know, that's that's for videos and stuff that's coming out in the future. There might be about three videos that you know that they might have put in AV1 format. But it's really, you know, shoot, people still out here using um, MOV, MP4. Uh, people still using MKV, uh, you know, things like that. Shoot, there's some people out here using MPEG-2 that have it connected to their device. So don't get caught up on that one as of right now. It's just it's something for the future, right? Uh, supports high definition. Everything is pretty much the same. But when we go over here, again, the biggest thing, HDR 10 plus, 
4K Ultra D. Of course, they added the AV1, the HDMI 2.1. If that, if that, if you don't have the television, it will be worthless. <laughs> all right, all right. You'll just be doing some backwards compatible stuff. All right. You got to have the equipment, just like this. You got to, your TV must be able to display Dolby Vision. Uh, that's like me. Wi-Fi 6 on this device served me no purpose because this, <laughs> I, first of all, I'm not on Wi-Fi. And second of all, my main router is not, it doesn't allow Wi-Fi 6 because I got it like four or five, six years ago. And so that technology is not inside of that, of my router. All right. But again, um, both of them come with the mobile application you can use on iOS or Android. Again, poster walls, music, Dolby Audio, DTS, looseless music playback. So you see the four max uh, right here. All of this stuff, IR remote, all of this is pretty much the same. Both of them you can install and hard drive, an uh, internal drive to it. And look, and if you have a Zadu, let me say this. If you have a Zadu, if you have a Zadu, you can always take that ex interior hard drive and put it right in your new one. All you have to do is go to the source. You ain't got to reformat it or anything. You can go right to the source whoop, and tell it to read right off of that drive. And that's all I did with the Z1000. I took let me just show you right quick, right? And I'm going to turn, let me just power down, all right? I took this internal drive. I took it out of my Zadu Z1000. I took it out. And all I did was take that, right? And again, I'll show you what I got, right? It's a red, all right? It's a six terabyte. So all I did was take it out, and I was like, man, I hope it don't ask me to format or nothing like that. And that's all I did. I just put it in, turned the box on, and went from there. Went from there, guys. Yep. So I'm telling you, don't, don't get hyped. You got to have the equipment, guys. In order for me to enjoy Atmos, right? In order for me to enjoy Atmos, I got to have the device that actually put out Atmos, right? I can't just have this one that says it supports Atmos, but then my television. You got to have the television. You got to have the sound equipment. You have to have it to enjoy it, all right? And that's that's the way you determine, like, oh, man, this, this is nice. Um, you know, a lot of us which I know, you know, which I learned because I was one of them individuals, you know, that said I didn't need this and I didn't need that. But then when I got it, <laughs> when I got it and heard the difference and saw the picture, I knew that I wouldn't dare want to go back. You know, that's just me. I just knew I didn't want to go back. Um, but again, to each his own. Some of y'all are just like me. Y'all say, hey, I just want it. I just want to see a clean picture. I can hook up some RCAs and go from there and get the surround sound and things like that. Uh, uh, the, the crazy thing is that uh, with, with, this, uh, with this device, uh, it, it's just a pretty solid device. It, it's very, very solid. Um, you know, I'm, I, I do got some questions on this remote. The remote it's solid. It is solid. It's just that it's hard to see on this remote. You know, when I when I'm talking about different things that I I, I don't think that you know it, it's just so hard to see on it and things like that. Um, again, it is what it is. You know, uh, pressing some of the buttons, it just didn't work as good as it did on this. Again, as I say to like IPTV and things like that, you know, it's very, very hard to see 
you know, on this remote control. But it might be some um, some other things that's added. But again, I got so many of them. I can go either way. You know, a lot of times I'm gonna just be honest. If I can be honest with y'all, I don't even use these remotes. <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I don't use these, and because I want to be able to type. So a lot of times I connect the Logitech K400. But you you would say, well, Dale, the K the Logitech K400 or the K400 doesn't light up. But then, you know, I go with something like this. Um, just to give me a little bit more. Um, I never been that one that's like been these remotes, even the Bluetooth one are all right, but when I'm really trying to dig in and get to something I need to get to, um, it's just kind of uh it's kind of tough, you know. So again, you know, I just think uh I just me, I just don't I don't go into the remotes. I don't give the remotes. I don't. I just don't give it love. And that. That's again. That's even on. Uh, you know, like the Nvidia Shield. You know. Now I'm forced. Not really forced. I do use the Apple TV remote, right? I do use that. Um, because it feels good in the palm of the hand, and it only got a few buttons that you have to maneuver to through to get it going. But it is pretty, 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 pretty solid though. All of them would get the job done, whether, you know, it's backlit or not. Uh, but me personally, we've been doing this so long. I think we know when we're going to use a remote. And I guarantee majority of y'all do not even use y'all <laughs> y'all remote controls anyway because y'all using, like, keyboards that light up or you're using full keyboards and things like that. And you, uh, you got it set up. Cause these remotes, man, really when they're IR, uh, that's and that's the only thing about IR devices. Uh, you know, I can use this remote right here to control my Zadu, make it go up and down. That's all I have to do is just get in front of it, and if the batteries was working, yeah, you can kind of control it. Or it, you will sit back and be hitting buttons, like, or you sit on this remote, like, man, what the heck going on? But certain ones just allow you to control it, man. And I, I done been there. Uh, let me just see something right quick. Oh, shoot. There ain't even no batteries. I guess this one ain't going to work. There's no batteries in there. Um, but, again, it is pretty solid. Um, I'm not knocking either of them devices. Uh, but to me, it just comes down to personal preference. That's what it comes down to, personal preference, to me, all right, to me. Let's see what else we got on this bad boy. Let me go and bring this up. Uh, again, two USB 2.0s. You got the tray, uh, four gigs of RAM 32, and that's good. And a lot of y'all going to like the Wi-Fi 6 option. Uh, the Mimo technology, that's just, a hey, look. For anybody that goes out there and get, uh, you know, if you get your next router, make sure it has the Mimo technology on it, all right? It's only right. And again, I just think, I think once they replace the HDMI uh, uh, input and then put the USB 3.0, I think that was, that's, that's a bummer to me, all right? You're going to get the, the picture going to still look good, whether you got the Z10 Pro or the Z10 Pro. Either one of them, they still going to look good. Them colors still going to hit, you know, um, and that's just how it is. You're still going to get the same interface. All of this, you're gonna, all of this is pretty much the same, all right? So even if I go over here to the Z10 Pro and uh, – I can go over here. Let me see. Let me do this right quick. And again, I'm on. Uh, oh, shoot. I'm full. Let me go with uh, Z10. 
Let's see if he give it to me. Hmm. And again, I'm not knocking this device. It is what it is. But I think once they get rid of the the HDMI input, I just thought it was not. It wasn't. They they kind of lost me on that. But I, I I just believe that the new devices are the same. Uh, pretty much. All right. ISO M2, uh, TS MKV. MKV movie AVI MPEG. And then you got VOP. So see, it, I mean, pretty much the same thing. This is the Z20 Pro, as you see right here. You know, so, I mean, I, it, it really comes down to whatever you want. You know, don't let me steer you away. Um, it's just that I believe in that's, that's they're doing something that Zidu has done. I mean, they're doing something that NVIDIA has done. They've taken away, right, and they taken a major part away and selling it for even more. All right. Um, I think me, a big part of it was the HDMI input that allowed you to record. Same, same, everything. Everything is pretty much the same, in, including the application. Um, now, one thing I did do on uh, the Z20, and I know you can do the same thing on the Z10 as well. Um, you can pretty much, you can do it. Let me see if I can bring this up. Man, where did I leave my glasses upstairs? That's where I really need my glasses. Let me do this right quick. All right. I just bump. I just hit this button right here. This, this hold up. Let me see if I can get this. Ah, the IR work. They do have a dedicated button for your your um uh, your light. Hold up. They got a dedicated button on here. It is a dedicated backlit button on here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. And it's so hard to see on this bad boy. My apologies on that. It is very, very hard to see. But when you go at the bottom, there it is right there at the bottom corner. You definitely have to tap on that bad boy. But when I tell you, when you get this remote, when I tell you it is hard to see these numbers, I guarantee if I turn this light off, which I'm going to do right now, I guarantee you it is going to be so hard. You definitely going to have to remember where this button is at at the bottom corner, as you can see right there. But as far as the numbers, Yep, and there it is right here. But when I tell you, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and that goes for this one as well. This one right here, it is. Uh, I think. Let me just see something. I'm comparing these remote controls right now. Let me see. With the Bluetooth one, you can't cut off. But with the IR one, you can cut on. You can. I'm trying to see something right quick. I'm analyzing both of these. 
So I got both of them on. I just want to see if there's a difference with the Bluetooth, which is in my right hand, and see if there's a difference. The IR goes off a lot quicker. The Bluetooth one, on the thing, the Bluetooth, that's all you got to do is just do this, and it comes on. With the IR, you you have to hit the button. You have to. All right, and I'm going to do a demonstration right now. Hold up just a second. So, you see this right here, right? You see it? It'll go off, and all you got to do is just move it. This is the Bluetooth one right here. Well, with the IR, there you got to physically hit the button, and then you hit, you know, it'll stay on, and then watch. And when you shake it, that is, you see that? Compared to this one, again, this is the, the Bluetooth one. So this got the motion technology. When you move it, it comes on. All right, I'll let it go off again. All right, I'm gonna, just so nobody say, hey, Dale, I got some long fingers. He hitting the button. The button is at the bottom. You see that? You don't have to. That's all you got to do. All right. So again, and you listen in the dark, guys. If you're not familiar, uh, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with it, uh, you. But you can see that in the dark, it's very, very hard to see. All right. But you just hit the button. You hit the button right here. And you can turn it on and off, everything like that. So I got it on. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to just see if it does the same thing as the Bluetooth. So that's what I'm saying right there. So it's pretty, 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 uh, you know, I mean, is that a deal breaker? No. But let's take, let's take both of them, right? Now let's take, uh, and I'm gonna hit these buttons right here. So you got the older remote, but you see how, how bright it is? And then they both go off, right? And just the same. That's the only thing about these, uh, hold up. Hold up, let me, trying to get the circle. You see how bright <laughs> the old remote look compared to in the dark? All right. You see how bright that bad boy is? So it is a difference with the brightness, right? And so compared to that, and then you got this one. Even on this one, it doesn't compare to the older remote, you know? But it's still solid. You can go either way with it. But again, look, I don't have the best eyes. I can't see none of this stuff without my bifocals. It's, it's just getting that bad. When compared to the old one, you can sit back and be like, okay, all right. <laughs> I don't need no glasses with this old one. I don't need no glasses with this one. I can just see what I need to do. But with these, yeah, I kind of, you know, you can hit the buttons and, oh, and it is with it, it, it's not a deal breaker to me. So we we'll talk more about it if y'all need some information on that. Again, it's just personal preference. I don't use these uh, remotes as much. That's why my batteries be last in like three years because I barely even use them. Um. But other than that, guys, it's really to me, to me. I think I think it does play the movies a little bit faster. Uh, but is that, you know, I don't know. For you to pay 
watch. How much is this device? Almost $400 USD? I don't know. I'm just be honest with you. I don't know just for the extra RAM, but you, you're losing. And they did a little update on a uh, processor. Uh, you know, by the time tax hits you, I can't remember if I pay. I'm, I'm quite sure. I, I know I paid taxes. Um, yeah, you're looking at $400. Looking at $400. And I don't know. This could be, um, this could be a deal breaker, you know, $400 and I'm losing key portions of a box. I don't know, you know, that could be something right there, but again, they pretty much running the same processes that are that 1619, uh, you know, it just got some different features, um, if you get it, I think you would enjoy it. Uh, but for us old heads, see, we're we're old heads in this. And the thing about it is, you know, with us being old heads, uh, we kind of look for certain things, right? Uh, but again, for anybody that's just getting involved, it may not concern you like it would concern us, um, you know. But it, it is what it is. Um, but that price tag, you know, it went up an extra thirty dollars. Cause I think if you get it on the Z10, on the Z10 Pro, I think it was like you can get it anywhere between uh, three thirty nine. I think it went up to like three forty nine. Now this one is uh, three eighty with tax. You're looking at almost four hundred dollars when you start including the tax. Is it worth it? You know, um, that's a decision you're going to have to make because I know everybody, the whole goal is to save money. Um, but then I would tell you if you, if that's too much, um, then I would tell you to go with, let me do this. Uh, I tell you, you're going to have to go with something else similar to like the Z and again, I'm going to get to y'all comments. Uh, the Z9 X Pro. All right. I tell you, go with something like that, 258. Only thing about this one, it does not give you the internal tray, but everything else is pretty much the same. All right. Still got the real tech, the processor right here, 1690. All of this is the same. It just doesn't give you the internal tray. All right. Even when we go in the back and we look at it, uh, it just doesn't give you the internal tray. But look, guys, that's what you have this for. You have to go um, external, and that's cool, too. Or you can go with a SATA. You know, that's cool, too. But either one, you you can still get the job done. All right? You can still get the job done and then go from there. Everything is the same. It's just a, a, a box without a, a tray. All right? It's, to me... Now, if you want to get really serious, hold up, guys. Hold up. Let me turn this light on. Now, to me, if you need a tray, hey, they lie. I need a tray. I just got to get a tray. Then, guys, there is something that you can get, all right? And I'm going to show it to you again, all right? There is something that you can get. And so I'm going to make it as beautiful uh, as possible for you, all right? Let me do this right quick. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see if I can find you one pretty solid. And that's going to give you a little bit of the bells and whistles. Like a lot of y'all know about this. And they come in all type of prices, all right? 
all prices. Now you can get you a direct attached storage, right? And again, they come in all type of prices. You don't have to get the most expensive one. All right, you definitely don't have to get that one. They got one like for a buck twenty-four. But again, this is what a five bay. Let's just go with a two bay direct. A two bay, right? Direct attached storage. All right. And so let's look at some prices on here. Again, I saw them a couple months ago. Let's do this. Uh, let's go with low. Hopefully they don't start me. Of course, they're going to start me way back here, right? All right, can't go with that one. Let's go with uh, average customer reviews. And, of course, they had these for cheaper. The cheapest one I saw, which was, uh, like, you can go with this one, right? And this one has a rate one. So you can get this, right, for 109 and then start off with one drive. You can start off with one drive up in here, and then you can get you another one. But you can connect this to your Zadu, and you can actually add content to it. I'm quite sure if you go to, like, New Egg or any of them out there, they will have more. I know they got more. And don't even include, like, eBay. eBay will be your friend as well. All right. I'm just do featured. But you don't have to do this. You can do a couple external drives. Or if you just want to keep it as simple as possible, you can do something like this. You know, um, just just make sure you get the option one. Uh, the option. I'm trying to look and see where the one I got. I know I got this one, but it's the two bay. Again, you can get, listen, you can get something like this right it doesn't have a raid in there but you can connect this usb right up on your zadu and you can send your content to this bad boy all right but i'm just giving you some solutions they got a two bay raid right here raid zero raid one span up to 32 so you can you can get um up to 32 terabytes on this bad boy and it's 89 dollars right and, and it's 20% off, you know. So you can take that and you can make this bad boy work for you. This one right here. Um, you got another one, 119, you know. Again, it supports um, up to 32 terabytes. That's two 16 terabytes in this bad boy. Now, let me see if it support. I don't see anything that says it support. On raid one, so that might not be a good one to go with. They usually put that on here. Now, this is the one that I have, right? And I know this one supports raid one, all right? Because when I go to the specs, and that other one might support or in raid array, raid zero, raid one. So, this one right here, I think I got mine for a little bit cheaper. I think I caught it uh, for sale. Uh, this one right here, this one we already looked at, but again, this is just another tool that you can get to make it work for you. If that's the way you want to go, if you just need some type of drive, um, to get you going, um, you can actually use one of these and connect it to your Zadu and you'll be okay if you just want to trade. All right. But again, I will probably look, you can go raid one or you can just get you. Two drive. Listen, if you want to go the cheap way, all right. Because here's the key, right? Getting you a um internal, right? Three, three point five, uh, not twenty three point five, right? You can get you an internal uh hard drive, right? You can get you a, a internal. You don't have to get no twenty terabyte. You can start off with a couple fours or maybe um, a, a six or eight terabyte. Uh, let me see. 
Oh, shoot. I don't got tired. All right, so you can go with uh, uh, a red plus. This is a four terabyte, right? So you can start off with something like this, right? And, you know, you can, if you just want to save a couple of dollars, you can get something that's called a hard drive enclosure. They sell them big time at, um, they sell them big, Big time at um, uh, what's that? Uh, Micro Center. You can go with something like this, and you know you. If, that's if you want to just save a couple of dollars. So you can get something like this and run that bad boy. They come in all type of prices: uh, eighteen bucks, uh, twenty-two bucks. Uh, I got a couple of. I got one sitting right here in front of me. Um, so you got 80 plus 20 plus dollars or something like that. Here it is one right here for 20, um, 23, take 5% off. So you can actually put that SATA 3.5 drive inside of here. And that way it can look more professional. Um, if you want to, I mean, I'm just giving you some, some options that you can work with. Um, I'm one of them guys, as long as you get to the finish line, I am good with it. Or you can get something like this, you know, where you can put your drives in there and connect. It really don't, you know, it, it comes down to you, what you want. Some people may even go with this right here for 90 bucks and just call it a day. You know, so I, I, I end up sending this one back right here. But I did, as you see, I purchased it on uh, May 12th, 2023. I didn't care too much for it. it was, I think it was a little loud, so I end up sending it back. But again, you put your drives in there um, and go from there. Matter of fact, if you get one of these, if you get one of these, right, if you get a DOS, you can connect this to your router as well. It doesn't have to be connected to your Zadu. If you get one of these devices, a DOS, a direct attack, storage if you get one of these right and connect it to your router there go your nas right there all you need is the drives and remember the zadu will pull anything on your network as far as video uh music and pictures all right so you can get one of these at 90 get you a drive plug it directly into your router all right Plug it into your router. This device now becomes a NAS. All right. That's pretty much what you can do. You know, and look, you can get a five bay right here. You can get this one, right? And you can get it or or you can just search. Let's do this. Let's do a um a direct. Let me do a direct attached storage, right? And let's go by reviews. All right, so let's do this. Come on. There we go. Let's go by customer reviews. Let's see if they show us some love. All right. And so you got some four stars, but you see how pricey these are? But the thing about it, let's see, hot swappable disk list. Let's just see if this one does rate. Oh, see, this model doesn't, it tells you right there, it does not support RAID. But again, you can use it. You can use it. You just have to send it independently. Let's look for some more. Uh, here it is, one uh, for 159 right? And you know how much them knives, that's all you need. You can get one of these, which is um, a four-star right now, and connect this bad boy up to your um your uh, router and you can turn this into a nas it's as simple as that you can connect this bad boy right because it's usb all right let me see if they show the back of it all right there we go right there let's click on it 
the back of it has a type c you can get a type c to usb right and you can connect this bad boy to your router and guess what this will become your nas it just won't have the software on it but it'll have everything to actually to turn it into a raid one so it can do the copy automatic you can keep it at raid zero you can keep it you know connect two drives and just make it one big huge one all right you can do that as well but again it's it just that it's all about research and i believe that everybody who has a nas don't need a nas they should have got a direct attached storage and connected that bad boy to their router that way when they go and put their their you know their media library on here they can just send it on over and it's as simple as that man it's it's pretty 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 sweet what you can do to these devices so so many ways that you can set your zadu up um again you can set it up you know and get your drives or external drives for it or you can just do go the basic route as long as your router is on you it should be able to um be able to communicate with each other all right communicate some of y'all can go with a five bay and go with a raid zero one three five ten j bot all of that on this bad boy for 188 everybody does not need a nas all right so again it's just so many things that we can do when we're trying to cut the cable cord right when we're trying to cut the cord we have options we don't have to be like anyone else we don't we 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 take what we learn from each other and we apply it accordingly to our budget you know and again uh with a nas you don't have to do it again i got one i got a uh a DAS, and i got external drives because i'm going to sit at the table and i'm going to be able to discuss with you the benefits of it and again i'm going to say it again and i will say it as much as i can if you have a nas and you using it strictly for plex then you wasted your money like what i'm trying to do with my nas now i'm looking at so many videos where i can host my own website without using some of these other uh, programs and softwares out there i'm learning about you know um docking and it's so much i'm trying to learn to see which way i want to go that way i don't have to depend on another source and pay that other source where i can do it on my own that was the benefit for me but i understand if i wasn't doing that i would probably go with a, a direct attached storage and just connect it to my router and feed my router put everything on my router and then just go ahead have it sent over uh you know to uh send it over to my router and my zadu either of them my nova video player all of that should be able to pick it up from there as long as i'm feeding it we should be good to go all right uh let me go up right quick um let me see andy say yo i like the new music yeah andy i went up and uh and big salute to you um i went up in there and searched for some music um a few youtube creators um use this all of this comes from youtube music and so you just got to get it you know i got so much of that downloaded i'm about to get ready to change like i said i'm getting ready to make this change hopefully um within within the next month hopefully but first i got to get my son up to college first but thank you andy big salute thank you for donating as well yep <clears throat> hey let me see he said hdmi 2.1 means that i will have to upgrade my calibration tv monitor to a hisense u8k and sell my christie projector and get a jvc <laughs> yeah man you're gonna have to make some changes damien you're definitely gonna have to make some changes Yep. He say, yo, yeah, that IR remotes is a mess uh, with my multi-viewer. Absolutely. Listen, 
This is the Bluetooth one. If you have these, and this is a E, I am so glad you brought that up because yes, these IR remotes, if you have a multi viewer, it is a unpleasant experience. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is an unpleasant experience. And this is, again, this is why I really don't use these remotes because IR, if your device is IR, it can interfere with multi-viewers, other devices. It can mess with your television. It can mess with all types of devices that would throw everything off. That is another reason why I really don't use the remotes. And I prefer, like, keyboards and stuff like that and i just plug the dongle up to those devices you are so oh my goodness listen where is my i guarantee you i'm using this remote right now and it's making <laughs> and it's making changes if i take this right here and point it at my multi-viewer or my multi-viewer is pointing at me and I'm using this, say I got it on four screens on one television. It's going to make the changes. It is crazy. IR remotes, stuff like this, I'm telling you, IR remotes is some of the, I'm telling you, I, the technology is, is very, very old. You are absolutely right. Uh, let me go up. Let me give a salute. Pick salute to Huff. Thanks, Huff. I appreciate the love, man. Top Cat is in the building. What's going on, Top Cat? Still waiting on you to come through. Still waiting on you to come through. Let me see. Netflix, Tubi, and all those other apps, I can care less. The main thing of why I wanted to get one of the higher ends to do is to import uh, my Epic Media Library and IPTV. And that's cool, too, Damien. But again, everybody preference is different. I'm telling you, man, everybody preference is different. Um, but I just wanted to showcase that it's going to be an unpleasant experience when you're using like Netflix. Me, I would never put Netflix on as a do because now you're defeating the purpose. Like you said, you know, I would rather put my own media library. Look, one thing about it this weekend, and Damon know he, Damon understands, right? Over the weekend, I did four consultations. Every last one of them were very, very happy of what I disclosed to them, right? What I disclosed to them on how to get your content. Everybody. Now, one kind of was in the ballpark, but, you know, just had to get, you know, um, updated on, on some things. Got on just like that. Everybody else, I'm, I'm teaching them, this is all you got to do. This is all you got to do. And we went for it. I even, which wasn't a part of my consultation, I even went and look at this, man. Let me, let me tell that to stop. Because, <laughs> look, I, every time you use your hand gestures, it will take control of that. Hold up. All right. So sometimes you got to do that, man, because anytime you do a hand gesture, it can throw AI on this camera off. Right. But um, I walked him through the whole process of setting up his to do. You know, he was having problems. Dale, Dale, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck, you know, and I ain't charging for it. I'm like, Shh, look, I just want you to get to the finish line, you know, uh, but at the end of the day, got him going. Got him going where he understand the basics of everything. Now he know how to get the content. And now, look, and, and let me tell you this, <laughs> and I know he's watching. Do not get any generic internal drive. All right. Look at that, man. Keep picking up my, my gestures. Hold up, guys. All right. I don't want the camera to move and nothing like that. But don't get no generic because... He had a generic drive. The Zadu was like, nah, dog. <laughs> no. But just so happened, he had another one. Right? He had, a, I think, a one or a two terabyte just to practice on. 
And that was the thing about it. But he's sending it back because he got it from Amazon. But he was trying to save a couple dollars. But now he know when it comes to his storage, yeah, he wanna he might want to – well, it ain't no mic. He will be using some name brand, right? He would use, you know uh, – but that's the beauty of it, though, because now – he saw, and when you when you see it, and you figure it out, and and you see it with your own eyes, then you like okay, well I'm not gonna make that mistake, because he could have put 500 films and 100 TV shows on there, and that drive, boom, gone, you know, and now he got to start all over. If he doesn't have a backup, now he got to start all over with getting that content. And forget that we ain't trying to have that. So he learned, and that, that was the beauty of it, because he, he witnessed it. He witnessed this. I say, man, what's the name of that drive? He said, Dale, it won't format. I'm like, what's the name of it? He pulled it out. I'm like, what is that? I ain't never heard of that company. He said, yeah, but I got another one. He said, I bought a, a, a lesser one, and he went and got it. Man, that's the dude say, bing. Like, yeah, man, go on, format me. And we got it done, guys. And that's what it's all about because I want to see everybody successful. Um, at the end of the day, we all trying to get to the same, the same finish line to watch, you know, our content and everything like that. So again, it it, it was it was funny seeing that because I started laughing. I started, I'm like, what the heck? But it, it was beautiful. But yeah, if you get a Zadu device, like Damien said, um, I understand um, getting Tubi. I understand it's a lot of independent filmmakers on Tubi that you're not going to find on some of these platforms to bring to your Zadu or bring to your Plex. So I understand why people go to Tubi just to see and things like that. You know, um, yeah, I got a plan on that one as well. Uh just I talked to Bo. Me and Bo was talking. I'm like, hey man, not and look, I got I got so many programs. I'm like, and when Bo was talking to me, and we exchanged, we communicated with each other, we exchanged information. I'm like, hold up, man, what the heck am I doing? Man, I went right up in here and got it. And it was crazy. Crazy, crazy. I forgot all about it. I just forgot. And I just used it like like a month ago and forgot, you know, but we all good now. But I'm with you, Damien. If you get us a do, it's no need for you to uh, get Netflix, Hulu, Disney. Everything you see on them platforms, you should be able to get yourself. Anybody? And I, I know I got Miss Billy. Who else we got up in this joint? Uh... Just making sure. Yep. He said, "Press the right button. Press the right button." Yeah, that. I, if you, I think you were talking about um, the light. Yeah, there you go, right there, the light. With my eyes, man, I couldn't even see this stuff, man. Yeah, you definitely got to have some glasses on to see this stuff. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm not going to even lie. What's up, everybody? Everybody, what is up? What is up? What up, though, George? You connect that device yet, George? He said, yo, I just saw the Oracle travel power strip for $10. Resist the temptation. What's up, Kenny? Odell in the building. What up, though? PHP TV. And again, guys, I think I'm going to do a dedicated film. I mean, not a film, but on Plex and Zadu. Because look, after I went back to... After I went back to Plex... There's a feature on there. They 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 both have pros and cons. And you know, with Zadu, um, 
you know, they both they definitely both have pros and cons. What up, CMG? What's good? Mike say, yo, he said, I'm thinking about that that Z9 X Pro. Is that the remote for that one? Yeah, you will get this one, not the Bluetooth, but you will get this one right here. You'll get this remote right here. All right. And again, so everybody can see, I did not see that light for nothing. I did not see that light. That that little light icon just so happened I was looking down when when this bright light was shining on top of it. It was just a glare. I was like, hold up. What is that? You know, I didn't see it. I definitely didn't see it. What up, though? Life challenges. You say, uh, Dale, I need to ask you a question. Can you open up the phone lines? Yeah, I, I, um, I haven't uh, re-upped on my phone line because nobody was using it. <laughs> and I was paying for a service that nobody was using. Uh, if you want to send me an email right now i can always or you can put it in the chat you can put it in the chat or send me an email i can read it right now what's up pat but again we're gonna we're gonna dig a little bit more um into these the dudes it ain't really much to dig into honestly uh just know the news the dudes they removed the sata and depending on which model you have uh you know, well, on all the new ones, they removed uh, the HDMI input. Again, some of y'all may not care about that. But to some of us, you know, we care about it because we actually used it. So uh, that's the only thing about it. We used it. But I got this new, this instant. I got emails on this instant um, cam as well. Uh which is pretty, pretty nice. I do like this, and it picks me up, and I can move left, I can move right, I can move left. It just follows me. It zooms in. So, like, if I'm showing something like this, right, if I put it right there, it will zoom in and everything. If it can't capture it, it'll definitely zoom in. And it's pretty, pretty good, as you see right there. Um... Uh, that's why I want to change the studio. As you see, as I'm talking, you see how I be coming up and then backing up because you see it's coming. <laughs> and so the farther I move back, right, you see it zooms up. And when I come back, you'll see it come back out. It's uh, it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You see, I'm having an issue with the Apple TV. Uh, what you having a problem with, life? What is good? Kenny say Plex has been a pain in my tail. Yeah, man, Plex, I've been saying that. Plex, I'm telling you, Plex will make you want to toss it, not even use it sometimes. What's been going on? What's going on, Kenny? What's, what's, what's your issue? I might, sure, I might rock these. I might rock these down south. I don't know. I, I might have to rock these down south. Bring these boys out. I might have to bring or anybody. I might have to bring them out. Bring them out. It's the Paris version right here. I might have to. Well, I'm about to say, hold up. Why I got a crease? I'm about to say. Up there and tackle. I don't know. I might. I might have to do it. I don't know. I know the stuttering works in works high quality movies. All right. All right. Let me ask you. Hold up. Let me. Let me stop this. Um. Let me ask you. Are you hardwired? That's one thing. Are you hardwired? Place even though it's plugged in. Doesn't do that on my shield. Are you hardwired? I know you say you know the stuttering works in um, high quality movies on Plus, even though it is plugged in. 
Are you hardwired? I don't have no problems on mines. None whatsoever. Stuttering uh, with high quality movies. Hardwired? Um, that's strange. That is, is not doing it on your shield, but it is doing it on your, on your, um, let me tell you this. Take your, let, you got to do some troubleshooting. One thing you should do, wherever your Plex is at, take your Apple there. Take your apple to where your shield is at and check it that way as well. All right. Check it that way. See, and, and if it start, if it doesn't stutter on where your shield is at, um, there's something going on with your your um your hard wire line, the line. It could be a nick in it, it could be anything. The tip, um, you know, when you connecting the wire it could be anything that's affecting it but one way how to troubleshoot your streaming if you ever get one that's happening really when you're hardwired one is happening over here is not a good experience but this one is an awesome experience and there are higher end devices yeah take that that one that you're having problems with take it over there and plug it in to um that device or to that to that hard wire that you have an unpleasant experience with and then this is where you're going to do the process of elimination because it could be that box as well it could be it could be that apple tv box that's acting up or you might have to factory reset anything something is in there causing it but take that apple tv Take it over there to uh, where you got your NVIDIA shield is at and see if it does it over there. Now, if you don't have that problem there, if you don't have that problem there, then you know something, that line is messed up. It could be that port on the back of your router or your network switch that's acting up as well. But we got to play life changes, life changes, challenges, we got to play the process of elimination. And this is how I was taught, you know, like that's like when I worked in cable, if all the TVs had snow on it, then I know to go to that splitter or to go to that ground block, right? Or then I'm going to end up on that, that pole, on that tap, because it could be a squirrel chewing that line or it could be something coming out of that... Um, it could be a squirrel chew. It could be a, 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 what they used to call it, the tip on it. I don't forget what they call it. I don't even know. It could be something on that that's causing it. You just want to make sure everything is nice and right. But I would, to start off, I would take it over there to where that shield is at and watch it that way. Big T say, yo, what up, Super Dale? Hope all is well with the family and team. Uh, just stopping by to show some. Support. What up, though, Big T? What's good with you? What is good? What is good? D. Johnson in the building. What up, though? What up, though? Um, Kenny say, yo, do you create folders or Plex? Absolutely, I do. For Plex. Not for the Zadu, but for Plex. I create folders strictly on genre. Uh, that's just what I do. So comedy, whether it's 4K, Marvel, 4K, I make a I make a folder for 4K Marvel. I make one for 4K DC. Matter of fact, I can show it to you right now. It's all good. I can show it to you right now. Uh, give me this right here. Let me. I'm about to get my Apple TV. Because each one of my categories is my folder. All right, where is this one? Let me turn this bad boy on. 
Look at my battery low on this joint and everything. All right, so when I go into my Plex, go up in this joint. Hold up. Don't know why I got a movie in here, but it's all good. All right, this is what we'll do. You know, I don't play around with these electronics. I, I had to be watching something and put it on pause. Pause. Oh, shoot. I know it didn't, man. See, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with IR, man. Cut off my television. There we go. God, to be more careful. That's what I'm talking about with IR. Come on, man. There we go. The IR cut off my television. That's crazy. All right, so here you have it right here. So each one of these right now, when it comes to my Plex, all right, I can go up in here. I can go up in Plex. So when they go up in here, I'm at the, all right. So each one of these recently added, this is from me, uh, recently added TV shows, good cam. All of these are folders. Every last one of these are folders. All right. So with Plex, the best thing to do is create folders. All right. Let me move this one up. This is my 4K content. And again, you know, uh, one thing about Plex, Plex is very, 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 very nice. All right. Very, 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 very nice. Um, for some of y'all, this just came out right here. All right. So if you know about this, you can go and um, get this. Uh, of course, as you see over there, the play version. I can go either 4K or I can go 1080. Either one I can do. Either one I can do. But it is out. All right? It is out. But again, very, very solid. Recently added TV shows. Uh, got them. So you can go up in here. Um, season two. Uh, again, they released like three episodes on this. I didn't even know 61st Street was out. I didn't know it was out. Uh, hijack as well. So one thing about um, they all pretty much do the same thing. But it is pretty uh, solid. But to answer your question, yes. All of these are independent folders that is inside of, uh, that I have working for Plex. Unlike uh, Zidu, Zidu, I'm just creating a folder for television, um, TV shows. I'm creating a folder for movies. And I'm just dropping, for movies, I'm just dropping them in there. I'm dropping whatever because it separates on its own. If you do that with Plex, it's going to be a little bit unorganized. Really, if you want to watch something, you know, comedy, you know, uh, you're going to have to dig through a lot of film. Yeah. 
What up, though, Keith? What's good? You say, you say, Dale, uh, made folders and storage device um, that Plex accesses, but the movies just in one folder, home videos mixed with the movies. Yeah, that's because you did not tell it to go to your direct folder. So you, you must have created the folder, right? Say you created a folder in Plex, right? Say you made a Plex folder. And then inside of that folder, you made it where it was uh, comedy movies, right? It was comedy movies, uh, horror movies, uh, drama, thrillers, whatever you got. The thing is, when you went to go and do it, instead of picking a specific folder and renaming it, you pick the folder, right? You got to be very, very specific when it come to Plex. You got to be very, very specific. Matter of fact, let me do this right quick because I got a folder. Let me do this right quick. I might be able to show you something right now. Let me just see something. No, that's not on that. It is on... All right, let me do this. I got my media server right here. All right, so what I'm going to do, somebody upstairs watching something. Who watching? What are we watching? One thing about that dashboard, it will tell you what you watch. All right, I'm going to try to do this to the best of my ability. Let me go here. All right. So what you got to do, I got a folder, right? I got this folder, as you see me swinging, uh, right here. It's called Tubi Films. All right. It's called Tubi Films. All right. So this is what I'm going to do with that folder. Uh, I'm trying to see. I'm gonna go over here. This is this is where it all goes down, right? But I'm gonna go to my file explorer. You can use your desktop, anything, right? I'm gonna go up in here. And I'm gonna drop is movies. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go into movies. And I'm going to add. There's one that's called Tubi Movies um, to this to my server, right? My directory. And I know it's going in there, and I'll be able to show it to you in just a second. I'll be able to show it to you in just a second. All right? And I know it's going in there. I only got, It only got like five or six films in there. All right? But I'm going to show you how you do this. As soon as this get done, I'm going to show you what you probably did wrong. Because I only did it a few times as well. But you saw me add this folder to my directory. So basically, you saw me add, because I got this right here connected to my Plex server. All right. So again, I got this connected to my Plex server. And again, I'm just waiting right here because I'm going to go into my Plex server and I'm going to direct this bad boy and it should be able to pull that, that content on my Plex. We're just going to give it some time. When it get done, I'm just waiting for it. Let me see how far I got. Look like it got one more film left right here. So is that, what, 24%? Come on, baby. Stop playing around. I 
I don't know why it's stuck. There it go. I just saw it move. I don't know why it's stuck, though. Of course, it'll get stuck when I'm trying to show you, right? Oh, there it go. It just jumped 37. So we'll give it some time. We'll give it some time. Usually it go quicker than that, but it could be because I'm streaming. But we'll wait for it, though. But I'm, I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do, and then we'll go from there. At Superdale, click on Categories uh, up at the top of the Plex in separate genres. Yeah, but I had to – the only thing about it, I had to add – I had to add that to – I had to add it in first because that wasn't a part of my folder. That folder was just – I just created that folder um, – I just created it, what, yesterday or the day before? And so I, I usually add that. Again, this is my Nas right here. So I, I'm going to just add it that way. That's how I keep tabs on it, just to make sure. This bad boy is stuck. <laughs> it's just getting the 49%. But, yeah, you can go up in that bad boy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to definitely show you exactly, but I want to make sure it's in my file before um, I proceed with my, uh, to set it up, to add that folder in. Because I'm not going to do it from my desktop. All right. I don't know why this bad boy moving slow. I don't know. It's all good. We would hey look, Kenny. We all been there. We have all been there. Yeah, it's something something going on because I can't even I could it took it's pulling something. I don't know. But we all been there. We have all been there. It's been trial and errors. All the veterans, like Miss Gail, Miss Gail, done made mistakes. I made mistakes. Soul Bro done made mistakes. Uh, uh, the real the main all everybody that made mistakes when it comes to their plex and their content. It's just that I keep all my directories on my Nas. Some of y'all gonna keep y'all's on your PC, and that's cool. As that's cool too. Some of y'all gonna keep y'all directories on an external drive that's connected to your PC. You say, you say in movie folder, in movie, in movie folder. You have to create sub folders by genre. You can do what you want to do. You don't have to create. Hey, look, Kenny, with Plex, you can do what you want to do. <laughs> but, yes, you're going to have to go into the movie. Absolutely. You're definitely going to have to do that. You say you have it on a external plug on Shield. I don't like the Shield with the Plex. It could That could be your issue as well. This thing is moving slow. And I know why I'm moving slow, because I'm streaming. He say newbie to all of this. He say, Damien say, yeah, Terra Masters has some, some more NAS system as well. Oh, you say I? She say I definitely made some mistakes. Oh man, I have lost two thousand movies and TV shows. I had to start over. Hey, hey, Miss Gail, remember when I made that mistake on the Zadu and hit delete and forgot what the heck I was doing? And it said, "Are you sure you want to delete?" And deleted everything. Deleted everything. 
I was so peed off. Oh, my goodness. But good thing I had a backup. I was only missing like 10 movies or something like that. Bam. I done did a lot of things on a, like, man, I was so peed off because now the thing about it, when you got so much content, listen, when you got so much content, uh, it, there is no, like, there is no, uh, um, uh, you know, transporting everything over in a couple of minutes. Heck, you know, man, this thing is going slow. And it's because all the bandwidth is on the stream. They like, no, nah, dog. <laughs> That's why you got to bag up. But even when you bag up, right? Really, if you depending on how you bag up, man, that is the worst. Cause, like you say, like even if she had a backup, right? Say she got rid of everything. Maybe her bag up was somewhere else. She is bagging up all that content. You know, she messed up her plex or messed up her uh, to do. It's going to take a minute to get 2,000 films, TV shows, all of that data back over. It's going to take a minute. And with your plex, you got to build that bad boy from scratch. You're going to have to, like, you're going to have to build it from scratch. I'm telling you. It's at 86%. Look, if I wasn't streaming, if the bandwidth wasn't right here, I guarantee you I would, you know, I would have, it would have been done. I'm telling you. But they know where to put that bandwidth at. They know where to put it. It's almost done, Kenny. You say, I'm a newbie. Let me see if anything came through. Hey, hey, this sound, oh my goodness, this the, this that relaxing jazz music. I got three. All right. So now we back up. We're done, right? Let's do this. It literally just got done. All right. So we got that. So I added it to my directory, right? I use that to my directory. So I can close this out. Let me go into my Plex. And again, I put in there. Oh, yeah. Let me turn it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. There we go. So what you want to do, Kenny? All right. First thing you want to do is I just refresh. It is what it is. One thing about your server, you can see exactly what the heck is going on. All right. You can see. I need to move my 4K movies up too. Man, what is it doing way down here? Reorder. Where you at? Go up there and get that there. I'm just put it right here for right now. Let's see what else I got. All right, so as you see right here, Kenny. So I'm about to get ready to add the Tubi, right? 
And let me show you. I added Tubi. Let's go back into here. I want to show you where I added Tubi at. I put it in movies, right? And again, this is I keep all of my content. Uh, where you at? Movies. Hey, my stuff moving kind of sluggish. All right, so here go my Tubi, my newly Tubi. Just so the haters. So the haters. I just where you at? Tubi, Tubi right here. I added it July seventeenth at seven fifty seven. All right. Well, at least it started, right? So it's in Central Time. It's all good. It is all good. Again, so let me go back in. So I just wanted to show you that I do have that. Let me go up in here. And this is the one I am running. I have two plexes. One is under Superdale and the other one is under... CDDM, all right? It's under that. All right? So, look, all you have to do, all right, you go up here to your plus. Of course, I'm going to movies, all right? And you can name it. I'm going to just name this uh, Tubi, if I can spell it, Films. All right. All right. So I'm naming it. I'm giving it the name right off the top. I can go to next. And now let me go and select it. All right. My movies. Where you at? Where you at? Right here. Here it is right here. So I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to hit add. And then I'm going to add to the library. It's going to add it to my library. And you see it starting to spin right here. And what it's doing is going down there collecting that data. You see all of this? But you see I gave it a name. And then I, I pointed it directly to the folder. It's, I could have just said, hey, I want movies and select it as home. All right? But as you see it right here is added. And they go to the 2B category right here. But you see it's adding all of these films. Is it so what you got to do with what you did, you gave it a uh instead of um giving it a specific, you left it, you did it uh as a general. So you got to point it directly. So give your category a name. So even if you call it Kenny, you can call it Kenny Comedy. You can call it Kenny Dramas. You know, that it caters to you. You can give it. But when you go into it, make sure you go in there and you point it to your folder that's specifically for drama. All right? That's what you want. Specifically for drama. And so, so now, since this is added, I'll be able to go in, right? And it should. Let me do this. Let me get this up here. Because now, what I'm going to do, switch. All right, so now, let me do this. Uh, drop this down. And let me go here. Now, let's go back over here to the Plex. So, yes, I have two Plex. <laughs> I got the old school one. And now, I'm going to just update later. I don't need to update right now. And so, what you can do, a couple things you can do. Uh, you can go over. No, I'm not about to restore defaults. There it is right there. It automatically added it. All right? And so, again, I can take it. If I want to reorder it, I can. I can just put it up. You know, it's up to you however you want to do it. Uh, but I'm going to leave it right here. And, again, I can just go up here, and I can see all the films from Tubi. All right? I got to get the original stepmom. 
And again, it's so much. Listen, if you're an independent film maker, Tubi will be your best friend. So you got it. You know, if I want to go up in here and see exactly, they got a little bow wow up in this joint. Don't know what role he played, but it is what it is. Child support. A few of us guys been on that. That's that guy that played in uh, McGraw Ave. And so, again, that's how you do it, though, Kenny. So each folder you name. No, so each folder, let me go over here. Let me read this. So each folder you have to create in movies or cor corresponding genre. Yes. So what you should do on Kenny, on your Plex, on your Plex, you wherever you got this bad boy. So if it's your NVIDIA shield that you're using, your folder should be categorized. And so your 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 drama should be in drama. Like I created one folder. Look, I'm about to show you right now. Where what I do with my I got so many remotes. What did I do? Oh shh, I'm full. Alright, I got one folder called A D S T. It stands for Action Drama Suspense Thriller. All right. And so I just made one folder, action, drama, suspense, thriller, right? And that's everything that's a part of it. Anything that's in here, um, I got it listed in here. So if it got drama in here, if it got thriller, suspense, I just kept that all together. So when you go into your, your, your 4K, you might have something that's called 4K Marvel, all right? And again, you putting all of your 4K Marvel in there. And so when you send it to your Plex, you would direct it. You would say movies, you would name it 4K Marvel. And now you're going to point it to that folder. You're going to, you're going to say, I need you to pull it strictly from this folder that you created and you are good. Mr. Roland say, yeah, he got three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got two of them, man. Uh, I, hey, I feel you, Mr. Roland. There's some things that you could do with Plex. Oh, my goodness. I learned that a long time ago. A long time ago. So, again, like for my comedy and stuff like that, you know, I, I made a comedy folder and I put all the comedy in here. All right? I put all the comedy in here. And that's all you see, you know, comedy. All right. All the house parties, all of that. I'm about to show y'all one of my favorite, uh, man, one of my favorite comedies. Uh, where you at? I don't, let me see. Where you at? This was funny, man. Shallow Howl was funny as heck. But right here, Road Trip. Road Trip is a funny film, man. Too bad one of the um the ladies, where's she at? Where's she at? This I wonder if this is her. I don't, I'm not for sure. But the 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 young um black lady. This might be her where they don't have it. I don't know. I think she she ended up passing away from like cancer. That was the the black girl, the big one, who was messing with uh. Hold up, where he at? Him, who was messing with him? All right, who was messing with him? Uh, uh, this guy right here, man. This this film was so funny. Who was messing with uh, DJ uh, Quails or something like that? Uh, yeah, that was so funny when they was on that swing. But let me see. The girl name was Mia. I think that's her. Man, that oh man, that oh man, that was so. That scene was funny as heck. Let me look her up. Mia, what's that? Amber Davis. 
I think she, yeah, I think she ended up passing away, guys. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, she ended up passing away in 2011. Yep, she ended up passing away. This was her right here. Yeah, this was her. She played in Road Trip. This was the black girl, man. That that scene was so funny, man. And that was bad to see her pass away at such a young age. She would have been 49, man. And th this is right here, man. That crap was funny as heck. Yup, so that was funny. But uh, no problem, Kenny. Just remember, you just got to point it directly. So you might have to start your Plex over. You know, don't delete the movies, but just delete that account and restart it. And that way you make it name your name your folder that's going to be on plex you select movies or tv shows but then you actually when it tells you like if you go into movies after you select movies now give it a name that is the whole key so whatever the name of your folder is you probably going to name it that and when you go into next when you name it you go into next now you go directly and point plex strictly to that folder that is it specifically to that folder no don't do it as general because then it's going to bring everything just point it directly there yeah she was this was sad man because I, I man that that part was funny as heck but yeah i didn't even know i i think i found out like two years like in 2013 that she passed away and um, I think she had, uh, I don't forget, man. Don't give me the line. I don't forget. I don't forget what they said, but it was pretty funny, though. Yep, it was pretty funny. I think they say she was on the come up as well. She was on the come up. She said, oh, uh, Kenny said, I have a few to many folders. If I delete, I lose movies. No, don't delete the folders. Don't delete your folders. I'm talking about your Plex and just start it over. Now, I can't show you how to do that one. YouTube it, man, because I'm not going to do mine. <laughs> but that's all you got to do. Just uh, go in there and say how to. Kenny, go up and just Google how to. Um how to redo your plex or how to start over with your plex yep how to start over with your plex and there are videos out there that show you how to start over without deleting your content all right and if you really want to be safe if you really want to be safe and i was you make sure you sign out and then make sure you take that external drive out <laughs> Make sure you take your, if you that scared, make sure you take that external drive out. Take it out and then go from there. <laughs> that way you know you're not going to delete anything. Oh, you say you got to email me about, hey, email me, Miss Gail. I'm here. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though, James? What's good? What is good? As Billy say, yo, off top of it, I've been following the writers and actors striking various forms. Uh, SMG saying, if only these folks whining about not being able to have anything to watch. Let's just say, <laughs> hey, man, listen. Look, I got a program. Guys, I got a program that you would like that uh you can use if you want to get content like you heard mr roland say look i got three servers i got two of them and i got a little something else right and i use this i use this program and that's all i'm gonna say i use this program and i'm good to go and literally in three to five minutes i got everything i need 
That's all I'm going to say. You want to learn how, you got to hit me up in the email consultation. Because some of this stuff you're not going to be able to find. And that, hey, look, <laughs> hey, Miss Billy, I'm sitting back like, hey, Bo, send me this, send me that, send me this. Bo, like, I got you. And then when he sent it, it was taking a long time and everything, right? I'm like, man, I got, I'm thinking, I go upstairs, I go upstairs, I fall asleep, I wake up that Sunday. Cause we, man, listen, we was having so much fun in the background, right? I said, hold up, man, I got a program that I gave to J Mac. And J Mac used it to his advantage. I said, hold up. Man, I went to my program, I forgot all about it. And think about it, I used I ain't used it in like a month. Man, yeah, it's on and popping. Salute to both for reminding me. He said, yeah, that program the truth. <laughs> yeah, that program is the truth. Definitely. Yeah, Darlene. Yeah, she passed away. Uh, you say, oh, wow, that is sad. I had to go and view my son's body today. He passed away a couple weeks ago. He was 38. Miss Darlene, I am so sorry about that. Honestly, I am. My condolences. My condolences, man. I, I Listen. Look. I'm going to tell you, one y'all don't know this, and I, I really don't want to bring anybody's spirit down, right? I've been there as well. I've been there as well. You know, I've been there, Miss Darlene. Ain't nothing worse than that, man. You about to make me tear up talking about that. But, uh, yeah, man, ain't nothing worse, but I've been there. I know that feeling, you know, ain't nothing worse than going through that. So, yeah, man, you know, but yeah, I carry, I carry mine every single day right here, baby girl, you know? So yeah, man, it's crazy. It is crazy. Cause you know, the whole logic is kids supposed to bury us, right? The, the parents, you know, and we, we just know, God come calling, you know, hey, what can you do? You know, my condolences to you and your family, your loved ones. Um, You know, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. It's a tough one, man. I've been there. Ain't nothing worse. That's why I think I'm so overprotective with my kids, man. And I know as adults, you know, we got to let our kids go, man. But I'm so over. Like, I need to know where you at, you know. What time you plan on being home? You know, what you doing out there, you know. I try to do, like, I need to be in their business. Even though they grown and everything. I, You know, they be like, Dad, I'm, you know. And it's true, but I just don't want anything happening to any of my children. I don't not like when I don't even like when my kids get sick. And look, they grown. They are grown. I I just gotta listen, when it comes to the kids, I yeah, I gotta I gotta Yeah, it's a it's a tough one. But my condolences, Miss Darlene. My condolences. I pray for fast healing, you know, strength, you and the family. You know, ain't nothing ain't that's I wouldn't wish that on my, 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 listen, I wouldn't wish that part of life on an enemy. You know, um, yeah, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. I'm not going to even lie, but I know the feeling. Some people don't know the feeling, but I know that feeling, you know, and, and it's, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. But definitely, uh, definitely special prayers out to you. You know, and the family, you know, uh, his family, you know, his friends, his close ones, you know, people who know him. I just hope they all just come around and, and, and show you the love that you deserve, you know.
because I don't I don't care it, it, rather he, uh, good person but ain't don't nobody want to go through that I'm telling you don't nobody want to go through that uh, don't nobody don't nobody want to go but people don't even know about this I just you know yeah sometimes we share a lot of information but yeah I carry minds all the time I'm gonna tell you something man it, it's crazy because the date came up right and um and my wife you know right where she she you know my daughter Barry we sitting at the red light and we knew it you know we could feel it we just just it just got quiet you know it got quiet and I'm sitting there and we was just sitting there like that's just how we were we was like I mean we was talking but we knew like I said did we plan on going down this street absolutely not but just so happened I think they were doing construction or something like that and yeah you know we came up and it was that time I think it might have been a day after or something like that you know but I always go up there like I don't know about my wife because everybody you know mourn differently right but i go up there and check on her every time i go past her i don't care if my hand is listen i could be sitting back i just blow a kiss you know and i just you know i'll be thinking like man what it would have been you know but you know i'm not going to question you know yeah it's a tough situation it is tough miss darlene but again prayers you know it is tough. It is tough. I ain't gonna even lie to you on that one. It is tough. Why? Don't get me. St- let me, cause y'all gonna have me on here crying. You know I don't. I, yeah, I I'll be on here crying. Y'all be like, damn, <laughs> damn, damn. You went to the do you, bro? <laughs> cause I spill it, man. I don't like the. You know I don't like to see the kids like hurt. Uh, Damien said, yeah, I wanted to make the Zadu be the only go-to source that I go to when it comes to um, demanding Dolby Atmos movies in your home theater. And I have a 12.7.12 system in my in my immersive um, theater. That's what's up, Zadu, but that's what they're doing. I'm going to tell you, they... Damien, they are either using the NVIDIA Shield or they're using the Apple TV or they're using Zadoo devices. So either one of them, them powerhouses, you can't go wrong with it. It's just the price tag that everybody's going to look at right now. It's almost $400, you know, for up to 16 terabytes, you know, internally. But again, you can always add it. Like I said, you can, there's so many things you can do. It is crazy. There's so many things you could do. It is so many things you can do. But guys, look, it is 9.23. I've been going, what, a little bit over two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, I might get on here tomorrow, you know, and, and, and continue this. Uh, you know, maybe I'll hook up the DOS, right, to the external hard drive. You know, I can do that check it out or maybe i'll do a dedicated video and maybe it might be something you want to do if you get whether you got the older devices or you get the new ones so it's just it's just options out there so just remember plenty of options your options doesn't have to be the same as mine you can always make it work there are so many ways you can make it work so many ways but, you know, it ain't wrong to talk about those other ways and give you some type of idea. And so, again, you know, you have many, many options for devices out here. You got many, many, uh, uh, you know, solutions for um, external, external storage. Uh, you got so many options, and I hope that y'all use them to the best of your ability. Don't go out here and spend no $1,000 if you ain't got to. All right, just to watch some movie shows, some movie and TV shows. 
But other than that, email me if you need consultation. You might say, "Hey, Dale, I want to do this." Just leave it in the uh, leave it in the email, and we'll get it going from there. Other than that, guys, again, thank you for everyone who donated. You get a big salute. Again, I think I'm starting to get the love for making the videos again. Y'all saw, man, I ain't did a, I ain't did a video in like five, six months. So I just got to get back used to it. And I found a great program that edits. Oh man, I found a great program that edits and it's faster and it's faster. So again, you know, I think I'm going to get back into it. Like showing up, man, I, I need to show off all of this stuff that I have up in here. Instead of just doing these live shows, I think y'all like dedicated videos and then we can go back. But again, if you want to look more into the Zadu Z20, you want to see how it is, definitely check it out. Um, but one advice, if I tell you, definitely get you a keyboard and possibly get a me, uh, mini keyboard that lights up. I think you will have a way better experience. Uh, with devices like that, including the NVIDIA Shield. That way you need to type in a movie and all of that. You can do that as well. So be safe out there, guys. What up, though, Cadillia? Yep. And thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I released that video today. You will check it. If you're not familiar with it, just go over there, just watch it, and um, you can get more in-depth with this device right here, um, the Z20 Pro. All right? So again, they pretty much the same, just less features, and the other one got just a little bit more power. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, both IR remote controls, just a little bit different. Uh, so again, I enjoy this, guys. I love y'all so much. If I haven't told you, I just feel like we're family. That's just what it comes down to. I'm not going to even lie, Miss Darlene. Again, my condolences. Please, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you stay strong or anything because, like I said, I know the feeling. And I might have been the weakest guy in that. Man, I was the weakest. I, it ain't no might to it. I was I was out. But I understand. I know the feeling. Again, I'm just praying for um, healing and, um, you know, uh, you know, and take it from there. You know, uh, you need a person to talk to can email me we can chop it up you know things like that you know i don't mind you know because i know it's a serious situation at this time but again i just want you to be you know uh you know I'm not gonna tell you to move on it's it, it, it's such a tough position to be in but i, I definitely understand um but I, I i'm definitely gonna say another prayer um you know and um you know, let 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 God do His thing. You know, He know what to do. You know, He He know what it is. But just know you'll be on my heart. You know, as long as I remember, you'll be on my heart, and I'm going to remember tonight. So, big salute to you again, everyone out there. Show some love. Say a good prayer for Miss Darlene, guys. I mean, you can do do it for five seconds. You can say, "Hey, God, fast healing for Miss Darlene." You know, as she go through this tough time, simple as that, you know, you, you know, and, and for you warriors out there, your, your prayer words, I already know how y'all go to so y'all to turn. It'd be 15 minutes later. Y'all still be going at it. But that's what it's all about. You know, but say a good one. If you ain't got nothing good to say. You don't care. Then don't even say anything, you know, but let's show her some love, some support. That way she get through this. Um. The, the, this this life um, situation. All right, um, guys, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, Miss Darlene. You're in my heart. Big salute to y'all. All the donators. Love y'all too. I will get to y'all on the next one, guys. Y'all be safe. The Superdale, and I'm signing out this joint, guys. Y'all be safe. Peace.